My guess as to why Phil was chosen for the Bobie Award, and he's certainly no one, no one would question his how deserving he is. My guess is that we're looking at a couple of things. We're, we're looking at, in basic terms, quantitative and qualitative measures. Quantitatively, he gives an awful lot to a lot of organizations. He gives to many organizations, and he gives a lot to many organizations. Phil's quite broad in his giving, but he's also always generous where he gives. The other thing is the qualitative. And what I find happens with Phil is he gives to places that may not have an obvious return. In other words, it's, it's going to be the, the play that's a bit more challenging that he understands will need support, but he understands the necessity of putting that provocative material out there. At the same time, he's going to invest in people who are young and coming along. He's very interested in supporting young artists coming along who may not have the marquee value yet, but he knows are necessary for the future of, of our cultural ecology. So this is, this is a kind of visionary philanthropy that goes along with the generosity of the philanthropy that makes him as deserving as he is, I think. Phil and Ellie Taylor have made a great contribution to the Royal Conservatory, but they've made an even greater contribution to Canada. They established a program for the first time in Canada for the most exceptionally gifted young artists that we have. And these artists are going to be the leaders of the future, but they're the ones that are going to allow Canada to take its place at the forefront of nations in the performing arts. The most remarkable thing about Phil is how much he loves music. And, you know, he really walks the walk. You know, he doesn't support the arts because it's the right thing to do. He does it out of love, out of sheer love. Yeah. Phil is most certainly a friend of Art of Time. One of the challenges of running an arts organization is from year to year the funding can vary widely, be it government, corporate sponsorships come in and out of fashion. But when you have a donor that gives at that level and you can rely on that ongoing support, it allows an organization to plan its future more than six months or 12 months in advance. The ability to plan, knowing that Phil and Ellie are with us, um, allows us to dream and take chances that we, we simply wouldn't if we were living hand to mouth the way um, we would otherwise be. And I've never had a philanthropist say, that sounds like an interesting play. I'd like to read all of the plays that you're doing and tell you which are. And then he'll come back and he'll say, I've read all the plays, and this is the one that really, really inspires me. And it's usually one that no one else would pick. Uh, it's usually going to be, it's, it's, it's that challenging piece. It's that piece that, um, that, that challenges the notion of theatrical form. It's that piece that has tricky content that may not be so obvious to someone else. Those are the ones that Phil's amazing mind goes towards. And uh, that, that's, that's a unique thing in a philanthropist. And that's, I think, what we all love about Phil. You know, there's a kindness to Phil. And I think, you know, for, if you have a, a young kid who's 9, 10, 11, I don't think they really understand what it means when somebody makes a gift of $2.5 million to, to help cover the cost of their training. What they do get is when, you know, this gentleman is backstage and he's really into what you just did and he's talking to you about Chopin. That's what I think his biggest gift has been to the actual kids in the program, above the money. Here's this guy that comes to the concerts and really gets it and really loves it. And that's a, a huge uh, message to any young person that they're doing this because people actually care. There are many people who are passionate about the arts. There are many people in life who are successful financially. But there's a small group like Phil who are both and who are willing to commit their resources to the arts. It is this extraordinary heart that he has that makes him an amazing man.